Hey guys, it's Ash, and many of you guys have been asking for uh, attack strategy videos on Clash Royale. So I'm going to start off with some great content for beginners. So in this video, I'm going to share some of the best beginner decks revolving around the Prince card. So here's one of the best decks revolved around using your epic Prince card. You first have obviously the Prince, which is a melee troop. Same with uh, the Giant. Both are very good tanks. Giant has a lot of hit points and uh, the Prince has very decent hit points too, so I do consider him, a, him as a tank. Both are melee troops, so you gotta combine them with ranged attackers, and that's what we're doing here. We have archers, spear goblins, low elixir troops that are ranged, and then you're also gonna need splash. You're gonna need a bomber, because the bomber is an excellent combo with the Prince, because you have the Prince who's weak to hordes of troops such as skeletons, goblins, barbarians, those types of troops and the bomber uh, helps a lot against countering those troops and you also have the musketeer that's a ranged attacker and does a lot of damage. You also need fireball and arrows that I believe are a must with the prince because again the prince is weak to those smaller hordes of troops so you're gonna need fireball and arrows to destroy those skeletons, uh, goblins, barbarians and so on. So I'm gonna show off some attack strategies uh, revolved around this deck. Okay, so we have the Archer, Bomber, Prince, and Arrows to start off. He's going to send out his print, so we're going to use our uh, print and then use a Fireball onto all those hordes of troops there. And now we're going to combine our print with the Bomber. So if he has any other hordes such as Skeletons, he's using a Tombstone. So uh, as you can see, the Bomber quickly took out the Tombstones and now the Bomber is going to deal some damage. So already we've taken the advantage, uh, gained some hit points. So what we're going to do now is we're now going to wait and uh, load up on Elixir first before sending out any other troops. So he, he's going to already send out his Barbarians here. So we're going to send out our Giant to shield and then place our Spear Goblins and Archers behind them to deal damage. So the Giant, the role he's playing is as a meat shield. He's shielding our uh, Spear Goblins and Archers and that's going to allow them to again uh, attack his... Uh, his tower so here he has a bunch of skeleton skeleton army we're not going to attack it's already weakened but we are going to use the arrows to finish off his uh horde of goblins and archers so now we're going to now send out our musketeer and uh we're just we're unfortunately we don't have enough elixir to support her so we're not going to waste sending out our giant or prince because it's it's already too late they're going to fall behind uh, the musketeer. You want the musketeer to be behind your tank such as your giant and prince. So here again we're using the bomber, we're gonna use the giant to shield and then the bomber is gonna remove the hordes of troops. So as you can see that bomber is dealing damage to all of those barbarians as the uh, giant is shielding. So he's gonna send out more goblins and archers and that's not gonna help because the bomber is gonna be able to take them all out. So the bomber plays a very special role as a ranged splash attacker. And now we have double time, uh, so now we're going to send out our Prince and we're also going to use the Musketeer behind the Prince. So the Prince as a melee troop is uh, going to guard our Bomber and Musketeer. Now the Bomber, this is an excellent combination. You have the Bomber behind, uh, you have the uh, Prince and then you have Bomber and Musketeer behind. So you have both a good distribution of splash damage and point damage. Your bomber is dealing splash damage to hordes. So here we're now going to send out our prince and this should seal the deal. He's going to send out his barbarians, not going to help. We're going to now use our bomber. So now we have bomber, we have musketeer, uh, we have goblins, bunch of troops behind our prince. And now we can finish it off with a fireball onto that tower. We didn't need it, but uh, that's going to seal the deal. One crown and time's going to run out we can now use the giant here just to shield if we need to but that's unnecessary and uh, that's gonna be a victory okay this time I'm gonna be battling Cameron and uh, he has the baby dragon so I'm gonna show you how to counter that so he's gonna start off with his giant I'm also gonna start off my with my giant he's gonna start off with his goblin hut so already he wasted 10 elixir there so that tells me he has like around uh, three ele elixir at the moment so not too much he can do here I'm, I'm now gonna combine my giant with the musketeer on the left and on the right side I'm gonna use my prince prince does a lot of damage 
Uh, so I'm going to use him to take out that giant before it does uh, too much damage. So now I'm going to combine it with my spear goblins to take out the giant and then also work on trying to take out his baby dragon. On the right side, as you can see, I have my musketeer uh, behind my giant. So I'm doing very good there. And now I'm going to combine my prince with the bomber and the spear goblin on the left side and already almost have taken out his second tower. Uh, so this is looking very good. I'm now going to load up on my elixir again. Uh, he sent out archers, not a problem. I'm just going to send out my own archers. And again, I'm going to combine them with the giants in front. So always keep your ranged troops, your archer, spear goblin, musketeer behind your giant. Uh, that's very important. So here I'm not going to send out my musketeer. And the musketeer is a very good counter against the baby dragon. She does a lot of damage and she will pretty quickly take out the baby dragon threat. So you can use multiple ways of taking out the baby dragon. You can use the giant or the prince to distract and shield. And you can use your musketeer or your archers and your other troops to take out the baby dragon. So the baby dragon is actually very easy to counter as long as you have those air attacking troops such as the musketeer, archer, spear goblins. You need multiple air attacking troops to deal with those uh, baby dragons. So good game, thanks. Okay, this time we're up against High and he's using the Witch card. So I'm going to show you how to counter that. So we're going to start off with the uh, Archers, Bomber, uh, Fireball, Arrow, lots of offensive troops. So we're going to start off with the Archers here and then couple them with the Musketeer. And uh, it looks like he has his Goblin Hut, which is a great defense. Uh, pair it up with his knight and a musketeer behind so that's very good and uh, i'm going to use my own spear goblins to counter his mus musketeer here uh, this allow her uh, to deal any damage onto my towers and now i'm going to send out my giant he has now sent out his uh witch card uh, but the bomber is very good you can use the giant as a shield against the witch which is very weak she does splash damage but she's very weak and here i'm going to use the fireball because he has a bunch of troops clumped together so that fireball is going to take them all out pretty easily uh, looks like i still have my giant but he is being weakened so here i'm just going to send out my prince he sent out minions uh, unfortunately the minions are not going to stop my uh, prince from charging straight into that tower uh, so he's gonna deal some extra damage and then I can use my spear goblins to uh, destroy the minions so so far it, it's looking very good so again I'm just gonna load up on elixir I'm not gonna try to counter that goblin hut no point in doing so I'll just let it deal some uh, resi residual damage onto that tower on the left and now I'm gonna send out my giant since I now have a loaded elixir bar he's gonna send out his knight okay now I do know he has a witch I know he has a musketeer but whatever it is I can combine my giant with my musketeer behind and remove that uh, knight and then I can now combine my giant uh, with a uh, bomber unfortunately he used a fireball very cleverly took out my uh, bomber so here he sent out his minions. Uh, I have a weakened musketeer. No point in sending out prince or uh, my goblins at this point. I'm just gonna load up on elixir because those troops were already weakened, so they weren't gonna protect me anyway. And here I'm gonna use my fireball. Barbarians are very good at countering the prince, so using a fireball to weaken and destroy those barbarians is a very good uh, way of countering that, allowing our prince again to deal damage. And uh, here the prince again is shielding for my bomber musketeer. Musketeer is your strongest attacking unit next to your prince. Always try to use her uh, and always try to use her behind one of your melee troops such as your prince or your giant. Again, we're going to use archers here and now we're going to focus on the left side. We're just going to use a fireball here to, to take care of the barbarians there. And uh, it looks like time's running out but we're up by a tower and it looks like we're going to win this. Good game. So plenty of ways to counter the witch. You can use the bomber behind your uh, giants. You can use your musketeer behind your giants. So as you can see, this deck is very balanced against all other threats that you're going to face around these lower arenas against witches, baby dragon, opposing prince, uh, skeleton armies, and so on. Okay, lastly, I want to share a recent attack that I've just done against a level 8 player and I beat him with this deck, a deck full of Arena 1 cards and the Prince. And I'll show you just how solid and great this deck is. So I'm going to start off by loading up my Elixir. Always start off with the loaded Elixir. He's going to start off with the Wizard, so I'm going to send out my Giant uh, to shield against that Wizard threat. And then I'm going to combine my Giant 
with a bomber behind because he is sending out low hit point troops so I'm going to use that bomber's range and then I'm going to combine it with the musketeer I'm going to deploy the musketeer away from the other troops always try to uh, separate your troops never clump them uh, that's one of the biggest mistakes I always see people make is that they clump their troops all the time uh, that's a huge mistake never clump your troops try to avoid clumping as much as possible because that's just gonna make it very easy for area damage cards such as a fireball to deal a lot of damage onto multiple troops uh, with just one spell card so yeah always try to avoid clumping so here I'm gonna send out my prints and combine them with my goblins unfortunately he had a skeleton army uh, so I had to take it out with an arrow uh, but as you can see I'm still in the lead I've, de I've dealt some damage onto his tower and he hasn't touched my tower yet uh, so here I'm gonna again use my giant load up on elixir send out my bomber behind uh, which is gonna take out his wizard bomber is also another very underrated card uh, just like the musketeer uh, so here archers archers are also very underrated archers actually have very decent hit points as you can see they're taking multiple hits from those minions and we're actually able to take out the whole minion horde with the giant shielding so I'm still in the lead and he still hasn't touched my towers uh, but here he's gonna send out a golem and uh, yeah obviously you're not gonna face any golems early in the game they are very uh, tanky and slow so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna focus on attacking on the other side because the golem is very slow no point in wasting my time trying to attack it at that point so I try to take the advantage attack on the other side use my arrows to remove his skeleton army and then I'm gonna combine uh, my musketeer behind with some spear goblins and uh, still I was able to do deal a lot of damage but his golem had made it all the way towards my uh, tower on the left and uh, it's gonna explode and deal a lot of damage and he's also gonna combine it with the horde of goblins and uh, skeletons so I'm gonna send out my bomber behind the prince try to weaken it uh, but again he still has a lot of troops horde of troops going after my tower so I'm just gonna play it cool I'm not gonna try to counter it I'm just gonna sacrifice that tower load up on elixir and then what I'll do is now focus on uh, combining my troops making that combo with prince bomber and musketeer an excellent combination that's very hard to uh, stop as you can see he sent out a skeleton army but my bomber quickly took it out uh, he has 172 uh, hit points on that I'm gonna finish it off with that fireball fireball is very good at that and here I'm gonna send out my musketeer on his golem on the right you're gonna use the arrows to remove the low hit point troops and the musketeer is a very powerful troop she's very underrated uh, and uh, I'm gonna send out my giant and have my musketeer behind I took out his golem and uh, here just gonna use my combination of giants with uh, my ranged troops my archers musketeers and as you can see the archers lived off the arrow damage and that's another underrated aspect of the archers uh, is that they can live off of arrows while spear goblins can't so yeah a successful attack win against someone higher level than me stronger than me level 8 and uh, was able to win with this deck so hope you guys enjoyed watching this and learned a lot if you did be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't because I'm gonna have a lot more strategy content uh, for this channel on Clash Royale so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again later.